Hello! Sorry, I didn't mean to shout. Uh, today, we're looking at an EPUB site. Nothing to do with uh, beer or anything. EPUB is the format which is most commonly available for ebook and ebook e readers. I've come across a site which, if you do like ebooks, then you might like this. Um, there's loads of free ebooks on there which you can download and uh, convert and send to your Kindle, or I think they actually do Mobi format as well. Um, in my previous video, you may have seen me converting EPUB to Mobi. Uh, in this one, I don't think I would have needed it. Anyway. So, EPUB books. So we know what an EPUB book is, and we may want to collect information about all of the EPUBs on an EPUB site, or a book site in general. So this is going to be part tutorial, part breakdown of my code. I'll point out anything which I think is worth note is noteworthy. Um, the main thing which is extra here that you may not see on other web scraping tutorials or elsewhere is the fact that I am inserting the thumbnails into the CSV XLSX blah 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 file at the end. Um, so. If you'd like to see what I've done, the first thing I did was to, let me close that. This is what we'll have at the end. So how did I get there? Well, minimize that, minimize that, and just move that. And what I did was very first thing, import requests because I knew I was going to need to save the thumbnail images. Um, why did I even want to do that? <laughs> I was looking at jobs on Upwork and there was one particular one, a web scraping job, where the client requested that the thumbnails of the books were inserted into uh, the cell in Excel. Um, I believe that particular job was scraping Amazon books, but curiosity got the better of me and I just wanted to do this just as a proof of concept. So please don't be too critical on the, uh, the finer points of the code. It works, that's the main thing. Um, and yeah, if we're ready to look a bit further, we will see now I've messed about with URL lib pass. And what I've done is I've broken down the query, uh, query string um, because it was uh, encoded and then I've used uh, uh, pass.q underscore qs which is part of the URL, URL lib.pass module and method. So that has actually extracted into uh, my parameter, oh, so I've obtained UTF-8 colon then the tick symbol and then Q and then colon Huxley. You'll see that when when I make the request. So here is the request and params equals params which is using the result of the pass underscore QS uh, so yeah, pass underscore QS is good for handling uh, query strings. If you haven't already used it before, you may well have, and I may be sounding like a novice. Pardon me if I am. Anyway, moving on. What I've also done is I've created 
um, an object with the response.txt from that request. I've turned it into a beautiful soup object. I've used HTML5 lib here, um, partly because I wanted to install it and just see if it works okay. Um, I've been reading that LXML is way, way faster. And um, if I get into a big project, I will go a bit deeper into the difference between the different parsers. But as you may well know, you've got HTML parser, LXML, now HTML5 lib. So uh, yeah, be aware that there are different flavors. And if you are more interested, then that is something to look into. And especially note that they do have different performances and some are more strict and some are less. So yeah, worth comparing them if speed or performance is an issue. Um, I make a dictionary per book. So my particular search was for an author called Aldous Huxley, uh, one of my favorites. And if you search for him, you end up with Mm, uh, approximately 12 or 15 of his books. Um, so for each uh, line item I'm going to uh, iterate through those and I will get the title, get the image or the image source URL and then once I've got that I'll actually request it, uh, I'll collect the JPEG thumbnail um, using uh, right oh, uh, using dot content. Um, if you're downloading a really big file, then that may be an issue, and you'll have to use chunks and chunk sizes. So just be aware if you're downloading bigger files than a thumbnail, you may need to uh, specify a bit, bit more precisely what you're actually doing with your file writing. At the end, we just append all of this to uh, to the list. So we should end up with, <laughs> I'll just drag this across, you can see here, I've got a list, you end up with a list of dictionaries, image, link, title, there you go, just hide that back again. Um, so yeah, probably nothing earth shattering there. Um, I've just done pretty print pubs there. That's how I got it nicely formatted. For um, for previewing it actually in the terminal, I like to use pretty print, pprint, from pprint import pprint. A bit of a tongue twister for you there. Um, here we go. And there we are. Those are all the JPEGs being uh, retrieved and written using requests.get and uh, write.content. So that's all run, no errors. Good. And we have 10, 11, 12. 12 images. And if I open up the Excel. SX. That's so annoying to say, isn't it? CSV. Huh. Right, here we go. I'm going to um, just scroll and uh, hold down control just to zoom in a bit. There we go. So, row one, we've got a thumbnail image and I I left one empty column, so the description starts from column C, and obviously it's still column C across here, but it, as these spreadsheet programs are prone to doing, the text obviously overlaps and goes across the next. Brief candles, chrome yellow, Eilis and Gaza Island, blah, blah, blah. So we've got 12 thumbnails. And actually, if you resize them, <laughs> you end up with a very blurry thumbnail. So again, probably something to bear in mind. If you want a better quality thumbnail, uh, you will need to think about what size thumbnail you are saving from 
uh, from the EPUB site. So this is only 60 by 90 pixels. Um, if we go to the site, you'll see, let's go to search for authors, Huxley, and there you'll see, if you go to the detail page, uh, if we inspect that, let's see if we can get some details on the image. Just bear with me. Okay, save image. Open the image. And what have we got here? File info. Yeah, so that's 260 by 390, which is a lot better than what we've got in our Excel cell. Um, if you do want that higher quality image, what you will need to do is, you'll need to visit the, visit the link, which my code is already extracting. And once you visit the link, then you will need to uh, inspect, get the URL of the image from um, image class equals image thumbnail image responsive and you'll need to save that thumbnail rather than the one that I'm using that rather than the the one that I'm uh, I'm downloading so I think that's enough to be honest if you want to watch this on fast forward, just look at the code. I won't be offended. I just wanted to um, kind of have a little bit of a run through of this just to try and explain. It's work in progress, proof of concept. And the reason I did it is because I've seen, I have seen work on Upwork where the client is asking for thumbnails of products to be inserted into the Excel CSV sheet. So um, yeah, all good. Thanks for watching, subscribe, um, have fun, write some code, go for lots of walks, get fresh air, enjoy yourselves, be nice to each other, I'll see you soon.